Hello children, welcome back to Edutalk Diaries. Today, we'll be learning about living things and non-living things. Alright, before we begin, I would like you to get your science year one DLP textbook. Okay, for those of you who don't have your textbooks with you, you can look at the screen, right? So, Unit 3 begins from page 17. It's all about living things and non-living things. Okay, now, please turn to page 18 and 19 and try to identify the living things and non-living things in the picture. Okay, look around, find which are living things and which are called non-living things. All right, time's up. Before we discuss what are living things and non-living things, let's dive in and discover what are living things and non-living things. Let's have a look at living things. Okay, we have a bird, an elephant, mushroom, tree, flowers, and humans. These are just some examples of living things. On the other hand, non-living things are buildings, car, books, umbrella, cake and a teddy bear. These are just some examples of non-living things. You can try looking around you. I am sure you can find many non-living things around you. In order to distinguish the difference between living things and non-living things, it is very important for you to understand the characteristics of living things. Living things reproduce, grow, move, breathe, and living things need food and water to survive. All right, now let's try to identify living things and non-living things. Getting back to page 18 and 19, it's now time to discuss what are the living things and non-living things on these two pages. There are about eight living things on these two pages. The first one is a bird, followed by tree, lotus, duck, frog, flowers, cat, and humans. The non-living things are a hut, rock, waste bin, bench, toy, car, and an aeroplane.
Moving on to the next slide, we are looking at similarities and differences between living things and non-living things. The two boys on the screen are talking about a bird and an aeroplane. Both the bird and the aeroplane can fly. These two things can move. Does it mean that these two objects are living things? It is important for you to understand that living things need the five basic characteristics which are they should be able to breathe, they need water and food, they reproduce, they grow and they move. If you are looking back at the example of the bird and the aeroplane, we know that the bird and the aeroplane can fly, but the aeroplane does not breathe, it doesn't need food or water, the aeroplane does not reproduce or grow. This means the aeroplane is a non-living thing, whereas the bird is a living thing because it breathes, it needs food and water, it reproduces and it grows. Let's look at another example. We have a ladybird and a hammer. The ladybird can move, can eat, can reproduce, can grow and can breathe. Where else the hammer can't move by itself, can't eat, can't reproduce, can't grow and can't breathe. This means the ladybird is a living thing and the hammer is a non-living thing. Now, let's look at plants and fan. The plants can move, the plants eat, they reproduce, grow and breathe. The fan, on the other hand, can move, but it can't eat, can't reproduce, can't grow, and can't breathe. So, the plants are considered living things, where else the fan is a non-living thing. Although the fan can move, but it doesn't fulfill the other criteria of a living thing. Hence, it is considered a non-living thing. Alright, that's the end of the video. I hope the video has helped you to understand the difference between living things and non-living things.